What's up, desktopers? In this video, I'm comparing Samson Dowder's 2023 Arnold Classic victory versus his sixth place at the 2022 Mr. Olympia in HD footage courtesy of Gilco Productions. I break down where he was better, how he's better, plus much more. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy the video. What's up, desktopers? Now, before I get into this one, I encourage you guys, if you like and appreciate this content, please give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding, including, also check out my most recent video, which is Samson Dowder versus Nick Walker in second place and Andrew Jacked in third place from at 2023, Arnold Classic using the same HD footage. I go pose by pose, break it down, and I put the link to that in the description below as well. And all the footage from this video is courtesy of Gilco Productions. They do an outstanding job. They're covering the Olympia, the Arnold now, and a whole bunch of other pro contests as well. And they've literally changed the game, bringing 8K footage, which is just so good because we get to see what these guys really look like. And it gives us a more accurate way to break down these contests. So I'm extremely appreciative of guys like Gilco and other guys doing the same sort of thing that he is as well. But let's get into this one and compare Samson Dowder's 2023 Arnold Classic Victory Physique, which is on the right compared to his 2022 Mr. Olympia sixth place finishing physique. So let's get into it and go pose by pose. So Samson is an aggressive poser, as you guys can see when he first walks out on stage. And he's got a real stage presence about him. And now his physique is at that level. You get to really see it. Now, in the front double bicep, this pose has filled out dramatically in one prep. You can see he's just a bigger person. Like, his legs are more cut out. They look bigger. Look at his arms. They look at least as big. I mean, it's sort of hard to tell, but he just looks more balanced. And especially that back. The back from the front has popped. Like, whatever happened in his prep... Obviously, Milosachev came out and said he was using some, some different compounds, including Trin, but his physique has dramatically changed. And that front double bicep has gone from really being, I'd say, a weaker pose for Samson Dowder to now being one of his strengths. And I had him challenging or even beating Andrew Jack on the front double bicep, which is something I said that Andrew Jack would run away with at this contest. So Samson, uh, very impressive on the front double and definitely improved it. Now, on the front lat spread, obviously different lighting as well, but it looks a, a little bit more crisp. He looks harder through the midsection. He looked a little bit washed out of the 2022 Olympia. They were going for a super full, super big look, and I think they probably even went for less of that here, and he looks dramatically better as well. So he looks bigger, and he looks more conditioned. So he definitely wins the front lat spread, and the one thing I do notice as well is his quads are dramatically better. And we get to compare this pose as well, which is that twisting back shot, which looks fantastic on Samson. And this is one where you can see a huge difference because you're getting to see the arms, you're getting to see the back, and he just is a thicker bodybuilder overall. And he looks more aesthetic just because he's more cut out. So very, very impressive. And Milos would love that one as well, obviously being a non-mandatory pose where we get to see the comparison between physiques. Now the side chest, definitely on the left-hand side of the 2022 Olympia, he was definitely big. He's definitely filled out, but he is definitely more cut in the Arnold Classic. You can see it in the midsection even there as well. Can he get harder on this pose still? Yes, 100% he can, but he's a lot harder. And just look at that leg. It is much bigger, much thicker, and overall really filled out and got harder, which is so, so impressive. And he kept the midsection at least as tight as the Mr. Olympia. So if you add more size and keep the midsection the same, that's the goal. I mean, if you can even shrink it on top of what he has done, that would be even more impressive. But as they go into the back double bicep, or as he goes into the back double bicep, you can see there, just a more cut out, more complete physique. And from the waist down as well, it looks more filled out. He has more of a sweep on the quads, which really shows up more on the backside because from the front, he didn't really have an issue before at all. But now, from the back, he looks way more filled out on that back to bicep from the waist down. And then from the waist up, the arms look bigger. The shoulders look dramatically bigger. The back looks more filled out and more complete. So this is why Samson Dowder was able to make that huge jump in just, what was it, 10 to 12 weeks from a Mr. Olympia to this contest. Now let's look at the rear lat spread as he goes into it. I'm not a huge fan of hitting it that way where you've got the hand sort of 
like that, but Samson has really long arms, so he might not be able to actually fill out that rear lat spread without doing that. So this might actually be a smart move for Samson. As long as he hits it rock solid and hard, then I have really no issue with it. It looks a lot more similar, this pose, but I think if you were seeing it in person, you can see the legs are more filled out, um, and I think there's just more thickness and maturity in that shot. But it did look somewhat similar um, compared to those other poses, at least anyway. As he heads into the side tricep, you can see that pose there. The midsection, if anything, in comparison, almost looks tighter. He's hitting it a bit better. I'd almost uh, urge Samson to put his hips back and not sort of let that hip sit forward, but that pose is looking way, way better. You can see, obviously, with the addition of mu more muscle to the delts, to the arms, to the chest, it just makes the waist look even smaller and it looks more complete. So another improved pose there for Samson Doubter. And then as he heads into his ab shot, he does actually hit the other ab shot, but you get to compare those two from the Arnold Classic and the Mr. Olympia, and you got to say the new version is more impressive. Is there maybe a little bit more thickness to the midsection? Maybe, but it is somewhat minimal, and I think that Samson will be very aware of that going into the Mr. Olympia as well, because if he loses his aesthetics, that's one of his strong suits, so he needs to be careful of that. But overall, a very improved physique for Samson Dowder, and what he did in 10 to 12 weeks is scary for the rest of the competition going into the 2023 Mr. Olympia because we're sitting about seven to eight months away from that contest now, and that's a lot of time for a guy like Samson Dowder, but also an Andrew Jack and some of these other guys to make big improvements for that 2023 Mr. Olympia. And I called it before the Arnold Classic as well. I said that Samson is a guy that can not only win the Arnold Classic this year, but he can win the Olympia. And that's looking more realistic as time goes on. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. How much did Samson improve between the 2022 Mr. Olympia and the 2023 Arnold Classic? At the Arnold Classic, reportedly he was on stage at 297 pounds, but he did say he's 296 at the Olympia. So I thought he's more 292 at the Olympia, but he did say in a recent interview at the Arnold Classic that he was 296. But huge improvements to Samson Dowder and him and his coach, Mil Sarchev, have to be incredibly happy and after the live stream, I was choked up watching it because I know Samson. Uh, I've known him from when he was placing outside the top five at smaller shows, and now he's winning shows like the Arnold Classic and winning $300,000. So huge congrats to him, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Samson improved? Do you think he's going to get better? And do you think that he'll maintain that really small waist and uh, I suppose his overall aesthetics? Anyway, guys. That's it for this video. Let me know who wins, Samson Dowder from 2022 Mr. Olympia or Samson Dowder from 2023 Arnold Classic. I'm pretty sure I know what you guys will say and let me know if you think he can win the 2023 Mr. Olympia. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding, including more videos like this with HD footage courtesy of Gilco Productions. Anyway, guys, this is Desktop Bodybuilding. I'm Xavier Wills, and we are out. <music>